just keep your head about you, uh, stay cool. You, you can survive a plane crash. The impact, you can survive the impact usually. Uh, it's the smoke and the fire that will kill you. So you've got roughly 90 seconds to evacuate the aircraft. That's why you need to pay attention to what the stewardess is talking about and where your closest exit is. As you're coming in to your seat, you want to count the rows from your exit. So I'm going to be sitting here. There's two rows I have to get to to get to my exit. So if this aircraft fills with smoke, I can count two. All right, I've got my exit to go out. You need your seatbelt tight and you need it low like where your belt would go on your pants. Uh -huh. If you keep it too high, you're going to get internal injuries upon impact. And you want to keep it snug. For every centimeter, you're going to have a lot of G-force impact and that's going to cause more damage. So you keep it uh, snug and low on your body. And every time you're sitting down, you need to have your seatbelt on. In a crash, you're going to have several impacts. So when you're braced, still stay braced until the plane comes to a full stop. There's two methods of doing this. If you have a seat close to you, in front of you, you want to get down like this, and you want to protect one hand, because if debris falling down, if you get a broken arm, you want to be able to unbuckle your belt. The other method, if the seat is far ahead of you, you get down in this position, and keep your feet tucked in as much as you can. Wait for the several impacts. Once the plane stops rolling, you can come off your brace and take action to evacuate.